Making up the backbone of the Empire, stormtroopers were fiercely loyal soldiers of the Empire who would give up their lives for the Emperor without hesitation. So when they weren't patrolling the streets of oppressed systems or chasing down rebels, what did they do in their free time? What stormtroopers did off-duty depended mainly on what base they were stationed at. Those who were stationed on the Death Star were given far more luxuries than those who were stationed on backwater worlds. On the battle station, the troopers were allowed access to many of its built-in luxuries, including recreation centers, restaurants, and even a full-blown bar which included the latest model of bartender droids. Cinemas and hollow screens that displayed sports games or whatever entertainment the galaxy had were provided in the living quarters. The food on the Death Star was noted for being far better than the grub served at regular Imperial bases, but the liquor at the bar was considered to be of lower quality than what you could find at local cantinas on planets. Some of the more daring stormtroopers secretly played prohibited ball games within the Death Star's zero-gravity filtration systems. Despite these recreational services provided to these troopers, there was one drawback onto living on the Death Star which was that the stormtroopers were not allowed to have any contact with any of their family members while on the Death Star, as the battle station and its location were to remain secret at all times. Stormtroopers stationed in military bases on planets were always on the ready to go into battle at any time. The strictness reduced the amount of free time that they had to themselves aside from eating and sleeping. The little free time they did have was probably spent writing and creating holographic messages to send to their families across the galaxy letting them know when they would be back home and of their adventures during their tours. When completely off-duty or retired from the Stormtrooper Corps, the soldiers acted like normal civilians and did whatever they did prior to joining the military. They spent their time with their families, worked on their other jobs, or spent time partying and getting drunk at bars like clones did when they were off-duty. It really depended on the individual at that point. Some of the more ambitious troops probably spent time training or making connections within the Empire as a means of moving up in the Imperial hierarchy. All in all, it's nice for the books to expand on stormtroopers beyond just being faceless henchmen of the Empire, showing that they were just regular human beings who just happened to end up on the wrong side of the war. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.